this video we're going to have a look at getting the sale products only in our slider on the website so here we are on the home page and here we have our products we have uh, products that are with or without variation and here they appear on the home page of the website so if you wanted to build a slider getting just the sale products from your woocommerce product list let's have a look and see how that's done so i'm going to head over here into the back end um, here we are with oxygen loaded and you'll see that i'm using the dynamic slider which is a composite element from uh, oxygen builder but you don't have to do that the repeater can be applied anywhere and in this case we're just going to have a look at the query to get only the products that are on sale so we've used the advanced query so we're here in advanced and we're just going to edit those query settings and here you'll see the query the first thing we do is we establish the product type so we say post type and we establish product the next thing that we did is we then had a look at a meta query so the fields that we're looking for are meta fields that are included in the woocommerce ecosystem and we wanted to check for products that are on sale so there are there are two items here so what we're saying is it can either be this item or this item or this query and we must include those products in the loop so what we did is in the first one we created a relation or then we said create an array now it's a meta query so to have a look at what's included in a meta query i head over to wp query generator and over here you can say you can see that i've selected meta query immediately i have the relation of and or or so we've said or so either of our meta queries need to be true to display the product and then we had a look at the sale price and we said if if the item has a sale price a value of naught or greater than equal to that value of zero then display the product so if i go back here to my query inside oxygen you'll see that we select the key now this key is meta value information that is part of woocommerce so you need to make sure that this is the correct value and in this case we looked at sale price then we said look at a value so we said set the value of zero and compare if the value is greater than or equal to zero then display the product providing there's a value in sale price then we had to look at the items that have variations so what we do there is we have a look at this query so i'm going to head over here and i'm going to add my second meta query which will be min variation sale price and we follow the same process where we enter the information like that now if you look at my query here you'll see that the query we have um, in this case we have the relation of all so it needs to be um, in the product category um, in this case if we were going to do one for a specific category then we could get the sale products just in the, the category so there we would say that category and this uh, uh, sale price or this sale price in this in our case here we actually don't have um, a product category that we're targeting we're just targeting any product so we just have the or section so we have the sale price and here we have the min variation sale price and if we look at the query then we have the key put in the key there then we've added the value we've set the value to zero and then we've compared and said if the value is greater than or equal to zero for a variation product or if it's true for a, a normal product then display the product so we head over here to oxygen we're going to save that the query doesn't always reflect uh, in the slider immediately so sometimes the best way to look at that is just to head over to the website and then you'll see that we have the slider here with those products so if we as we go through these products you'll see that we have quite a few accessories on sale here um, now i'm not sure if there are any other products on sale but uh, okay and there's hoodies so let's target a specific category now so now i just want to target a specific category so in order to do that i'm going to head over to my query and i'm going to edit the query and now what i'm going to do is i now need to look up a 
taxonomy query, a tax query. So I'm going to head over here into oxygen and I'm going to add a parameter and I'm going to type in tax taxonomy query. So now I've created the query and now I'm going to add the value. And in this case, it's going to be and. So we enter the relation and we say that it must also be in this category. And then I'm going to add a value. And in that case, I'm going to go with the array. And in the array, I'm going to add the values to identify the categories. The first thing that we're going to do is we're going to look at a taxonomy. So what are we looking for? And we're looking for the product underscore cat or product category. The next thing I'm going to look at the field. So what kind of field? And we're going to look at the field. Uh, let's call it a slug. Then we're going to have a look at the uh, terms. Now the terms are in an array, so we'll add one value at a time. So I'm going to add hoodies. And the last value that we're going to enter then will be the um, operator and we'll make that operator in. So we're saying if the product is in this category and it's on sale, then display the product. So let's do that and save. And now when we head over to the website and we refresh the page, we should get just the hoodie that's on sale. So there we have the hoodie. There's only one hoodie on sale and you can see there it is. Only the hoodie is displayed on sale. If we wanted to check for anything else on sale, uh, let's just do another one. So I'm going to head over here to the shop quickly. And we know that accessories has a lot of products on sale, but maybe we want to have a look at something else. So let's have a look at, uh, is there anything on sale in music? I don't think so. And let's have a look here, um, maybe t-shirts. So this is the filter by Piatnet Grid and it's not really working that well. So I'm just going to head back here and I'm going to go into the query. And let's make it for t-shirts. So if we're not sure what the value is for the slug for t-shirts, the easiest way to do that is to head over into your products, head over to categories, look for the t-shirts category and then look at the slug that's displayed. So here we are in categories and t-shirts and the slug is t-shirts. So what we'll do then is we'll head over here. And now the slug, I'm going to change that to t-shirts. All right, t-shirts, we'll close the query. I'm going to save. And then what I'm going to do is head back to the front end of the website and scroll down to products and you'll see that there's nothing displayed. And that's probably because there are no t-shirts on sale. So let's head back and now I'm going to edit that query again. And from t-shirts, let's have a look at, we know that there are a lot of accessories and we know that that's the slug. Save that item, head back to the home page, refresh. And now you'll see that the accessories on sale are now in the slider. And as we go through, you'll see each one of these items is an accessory. So that's how you can quite easily have a look at items that are for sale. If you wanted to have a slightly different take on the pricing and you wanted to maybe do the pricing below a certain value. So here we've said compared to the value greater or equal to zero. So if I go and have a look here, I see I've got items for $16, $18, 55 that's a bit high so I, I want to make sure that it's only values below 55 so I'm going to change that um, compare to smaller than or equal to and just to be safe let's make that $50 so I'm only going to show items that are less than $50 on my home page I'm going to save that and now when I refresh the page you'll see that the items will refresh but we won't have anything for $50. So everything that I have here now is at $18. And if I uh, wanted to uh, change the pricing even more, maybe I could even say only for values that are less than or equal to 
eighteen dollars so that's how you can uh, set the price for your slider on the home page and only include products that are on sale below a certain value or in reverse you could do one where the minimum value is greater than a certain minimum value so that's how you can quite easily then create um, a slider with the products for sale from your shop below a certain value so i hope you found that interesting thank you for watching